So guys, welcome back. Today is the day, or tonight is the night, rather. And I mod my Seiko 5. And this is the snaps. I forgot the model number. <laughs> I'll put the model number in the description. It's the SNZ F15J1, I think. I'm not sure. I don't really care I do care that I love the watch and I uh, actually bought this watch after looking at the Orient Blu-ray USA for a while never picked up that watch but I've always wanted that watch and then another channel TGV the Urban Gentry channel did a video review on Seiko 5's being the greatest or the best watch you could buy for under $200 some of these are under $100 and I saw Tristano did a video comparing his 007 and 009, which are SKX, I think, SKX variation watches. And I loved, I fell in love with the way the watch looked. And I also saw the movie um, with Robert Redford. I forgot the name of the movie. And he's in a sailboat. I think it's This Is The End or something. And he's wearing this watch, or uh, the SKX watch or whatever. And I was like, I have to get that watch. So here it is. And what I want to do is modify a sapphire crystal with a blue AR coating onto this watch. And to do that, I went out and actually spent, well, I didn't spend any money at all. I just went on eBay and bought a watch press for the crystal. And I was actually practicing with this watch press. Um, and I highly recommend you guys, if you're going to buy your kits, Get like an old watch. I had this old quartz watch. I was practicing pressing the crystal, um, removing the crystal, as well as playing around with the stem removal as well. So I got a watch pressed with all the dies. I'm going to move this to the side. Basically, I got a watch kit. And I put everything in the kit into this like little tray that my wife has had since she was in high school. This used to be her jewelry tray. She never really used it much, but um, it's really good quality. <laughs> so I have all my dye in this tray for the, um, the case press and the crystal press. This little hammer, I'm not really sure what this is. I'm not a watch. I didn't go to watch making school, so it comes with a lot of stuff. A little brush. And the brush actually comes with, I believe it attaches to this blower attachment. So you could uh, blow and get dust out of the way. The only thing I don't have, this is pretty much a complete watch, um, amateur kit. So I'll just leave that there. That's my die for the press. The only thing I don't have is that little squishy ball that removes the case back. But I do have, it's a sticky ball, but I do have the case back removal tool, which is something I've never had actually. I've always wanted the case back removal tool. It has different um, attachments for different case backs. And most important thing that is not sold with watch kits if you're gonna remove crystals stems crowns and case backs having a little silicone grease in hand makes pressing one easier as well as it reinforces that water tightness when it's time to put everything back together so I highly recommend you get the grease it, I've never seen this sold with the watch kits um, throughout the websites but you have to order this separately and I only paid about two dollars for this on eBay and it came local from New York so I did my kit and I spent about $25 for for that press with everything you see here comes with a whole lot of spring pins a whole lot of them <laughs> probably over a hundred and my silicone grease I keep safety pins in here for different things that will become obvious and you have your um, bracelet resizing tools now this one came with the kit but it seems to be for a small diameter watch because you have to put the watch in between these two um, in that channel right there but this is the one I've had for years and this is for I've had big watches up to 46 millimeter watches in this um, thing and I think this extends forward or backwards whatever. and you got a bunch of um, hand tools for prying out um, leather straps removing leather straps from the case body I'm getting all blurry on you guys so you have different ones here I've, like I said I've had this before so the kit only gave me an extra one there 
this is a case back pry like if the case back snaps in so you could wedge it in there and pry stuff off which is kind of cool and a um, bunch of different different tools I don't really know what this is tweezers you have tweezers in there bunch of different uh, it looks like pressing tools for the pins as well for the watch pins so it's a little uh, flat head there and that's my uh, watch kit you also have the most important thing the uh, watch holder so you basically where's my watch what's the watch in all this melee you'd put the watch in there when it's time to work in the watch and this would squeeze the watch in there so you could work in the watch without damaging the other parts of it so you could work in one part the watch so I have that and from my uh, automotive kit I have a proper pliers that I usually use for my watches as well as this is a dental pick I believe I've had this for years over a decade but I find this to be one of my useful tools in all my my car um, mods as well as around the house like having like a long pin and it's really really hard pin to poke at stuff um, this I use it for something I don't really remember, but this comes in handy. It's like a ice, little ice pick stuff, and it's good to have one of these cases when you take the watch apart, so you keep everything together and keep everything away from moisture and dust. So this is from my iPod Nano from about five or six years ago, and it's a sealing little um, plastic case there, and this actually this jewelry case has like a lidded um, surface up here. It's uh, sunken in so you could put stuff on there and it won't roll off. And that's really cool for working with stuff. You can leave stuff on there. Like I have this bracelet I took off of something and I have the pins and the pins are not gonna roll off. They just stay in that, on the top of there. So that's kind of cool. So that's it. Oh, and most importantly, I got this on Amazon. It is basically a LED headlamp for working and stuff and you have little magnification stuff on there so I'll show you guys how that works so when you're working on your your watch you have the option of LED and this is really really cool I'm gonna put the link for this below I this was $16 I paid on Amazon and it's very comfortable it's a jeweler's uh, miners lamp I think I don't know what, what you'd call it but you have lots of magnification in there you could zoom in and out of stuff when working in on stuff you can't see it also has an LED and all this swivel so I'll show you guys so that goes on your nose and this you could swivel this away either like that or away from you so that's kind of cool the whole thing actually swivels and that I'm kind of glad that happened because this comes with about a bunch of these things different magnifications that all slot right in there and I did that it clips into place so it's really secure but I'm sorry, turn this off. So you have this, the whole thing swivels up as well when you wear it. And this LED thing also has an extra swivel on there. So you can swivel up and down. So that's really useful. $16 on Amazon. Can't beat that. It's going to use it when I take everything apart in the watch. And it's really useful, I think. And taking case backs off on waterproof divers, you have two cups here. I've seen another channel do this hot water water test cold water water test and I have a jug which is gonna be like kind of a pressure test because these cups aren't deep I'm just gonna dunk it in there all the way at the bottom so it has a little bit of pressure of the water on top um, pushing against the case after I open it and reseal it with a new crystal and that's pretty much it that's the ultimate I guess the hobby watch collector uh, edition um, so it's something if you were to Collecting watches and you want to modify Seiko's or whatever you have. And Seiko's are the funnest, funnest, <laughs> the best watches to modify. And there's a channel, I'm going to link him down below because he's a really great guy. He doesn't even know I exist. But I think his channel is worth checking out. If you're into Seiko's and modifying Seiko's, um, you take the crystal off, the bracelets off, the crowns, the bezels, everything comes off of this watch. You could change the entire watch and keep, keep the case. It's weird. So, and this is kind of all you need to, to do that as well. So that's it, guys. I'll see you guys on the flip side.